it was on half a heart, Georgie. Speedily sprinting, grass flying. He ran for the touchdown. Everyone has a hero, and mine is. <laughs> oh God, no, I'm not reading this now. It's going to be canceled. For I was a kid. I was a kid. Okay, it was a football player. It wasn't. You know, I had no idea. Um, no, I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not reading. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, I'm not reading. Um, all right, let's move on. Here's then. Supersonic. That's how fast he is. I know he will never let me down. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm going to continue reading. I'm going to continue reading. Um, uh, he is my hero because he is good at football and he is fast and strong. He is a great runner. Uh, the college he went to was Oklahoma, which is my favorite team. Um, he was a running back under the coaching of Bob Stoops. He finished second in the 2008 Heisman. Uh, then went on to the pros where uh, where did he go after college a lot of people ask he went to play for the Minnesota Vikings he makes more than a million dollars a year <laughs> um, his team doesn't always win but when they do he plays great much I like the snow and then I'm like, if I would, um, if I had to choose, if I live in Florida, which is always warm, if I had to choose to live here or a place that's snowy, I would choose here. So snow would be all the more spe special. <laughs> that, that's funny. Wow. It's like, it's like written down. My best friend is awesome. He is funny when he needs to be. He's always nice and respectful to others. He is trustful if I tell him something he doesn't tell anyone. He's the best friend I could ask for. I don't know what this is. I don't even know what this is about. This is on, on the back of this paper. My rough and final draft. One day, one day, me and my friend were at the park in our neighborhood. There was a big tree at the park. He had challenged me in a climbing competition, so I started to climb the tree. I could hear the branches breaking behind me. He was getting closer. He was on a branch right below me. I was halfway on another branch when it broke. I hit my chin, my chin on a lower branch. I could taste the blood building in my mouth. <laughs> oh, God. Um, my arm scraped against the tree. I could feel the rough bark on my skin. I could see the ground beneath me. I heard the thud when I hit the ground. My arm and my mouth were covered in blood. My friend was right next to me. He helped me up. We ran to our bikes and I rode one-handed home. When I got there, I was so tired and I ached. My mom took me to the bathroom to help me clean up. I had a long cut down my arm. I, wanted, I was like scheduling like when I want to upload. I didn't end up actually doing it, but, but, I, but I was. It, show, it says, like, I should upload, like, a Hunger Games video and then a rap battle. It's kind of it's stupid, but that's what it says. Um, the thing in nature, cats. Most of us like something from nature. Mine is cats. There's no, there's not, there's no one good reason why I like cats. There's many. Um, to know when you're mad or sad. Sometimes whenever I get angry at my friends or family, all three of my, all three of my cats will be meowing and purring around me. The good thing about cats is that when you're gone, they sleep, but when you're there, they're always wide awake. I don't know how true that is, but... Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. The, the, like the like the hook to this essay or whatever I'm writing is like the most ridiculous thing in history. I'm writing an essay about <clears throat> like why like my bedtime should be like I shouldn't have a bedtime. It's for school. 
and I and the, the intro is um, clink clink spare some change. That's the sound of me if my bedtime's at eight p.m. <laughs> Oh my god. My homework before I go to school, I would be rushed. Do you ever see a squirrel in the middle of the road and then boom, a car comes along and the squirrel darts across the road? That squirrel would be me. Never able to just finish my sweet walk across the road. <laughs> what is this? No sports and no friends. This is so, like, weird. <laughs> After getting home from school, I have to go to football practice every day. Football practice is from sometimes two hours. When I get home from football, I eat the lovely dinner my mom cooked for me. Then I do my chores. That's already basically my bedtime. Are you out of my, are you out of your mind? Let's play. This is for a let's play. That's like a step-by-step -step episode plan for a let's play. And it's planned to episode... What the hell? It's planned out to episode 33. Episode 1. Introduce the series. Introduce the idea of this. This is... Keep in mind. This is from... I was probably... I was probably 13. Like, this is... This was probably like a long time ago it says episode one introduce the series introduce the idea of the series uh find trees get stone collect 64 logs find a good place for a house make a house go over the series end episode number episode two um make house where we planned make chest furnace ba basic stuff Get food, get materials for decorations, stone, glass, leaves, flowers, fences. Decorate your house. So it goes through, and then it's like, where's say Episode 12, collect materials needed for the end, enchant bow, pumpkin, ender pearls, arrows. And then it goes, uh... Episode 15, search for stronghold with ender eyes. If not able, collect more materials. Then go to stronghold... Episode 16, find stronghold if you haven't already. Build base on top of the stronghold, ladders down to it, sleep in the bed by the stronghold. Episode 17, explore the stronghold, collect mossy stone, books, iron bars, light up the whole stronghold. Episode 18, finish exploring the stronghold, collect tons of cobble, make more potions. Um, episode 20, fill in the portal with the ender eyes. Make sure you have five stacks of blocks, a pick, a bow, arrows, pots, food. Make a cake. What? Why? I don't get it. Enter the end in a crafting bench. Start breaking the health orbs. It says, it says episode 22. Break the orbs and fight the dragon. You kill the dragon, eat cake. Stop the video right after eating cake. Why? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. I guess I was like trying to make a joke or something. That was like the joke. Oh, I guess it was probably celebration. I mean, celebration cake. This is episode 24. Move house into the stronghold. Make the best house ever. The map. You were caved in when the apocalypse started. You only have a wood sword and food. You follow the cave till you reach a minecart track. You ride it, but it dumps you into lava. But below the lava, there's water. There's small air pockets in the underwater cave you're in. You run into a sunken underwater town. There are skulls. There's one survivor in a house he tells you what happened and how he says that the overworld is being overrun by the dead he says he lost his pick and he needs it back in one of the houses there is a secret package pa passage that you can find when you enter you get trapped lava comes seeping in but there's a water hole leading up you're still underground but you're in one of your old mines you follow the tracks to an exit you come to the surface but you're in your old house it's broken and covered in vines zombies are all over it the front door is locked the key must be somewhere though it's in a chest hidden in the house. You have to press a button to find it. You use it to get out, but only find a deserted town full of zombies. The town is surrounded. You get potions and enchant armor with EXP bottles. You go out the airlock and lava pours into the ship behind you, so you can't go back in. Oh, you are in space. Now there's parkour on satellites. The parkour leads to a water pool leading to an old ship.
There is tons of zombies in it. There is a teleporter, but it is missing a piece, a button. The button is the, the button is hidden in the most infested zombie room. When you use the teleporter, you teleport to an underground civilization. They have been waiting for someone to return from the flight. They tell you that they think it's over. Their civilization is soon to fall. The end of the world. He says this button is the only escape once the zombies invade this town. He tells you that if they, if they invade, click this button. When you step on a pressure pad to open a door, it triggers a wall to open, where thousands of zombies pour in. You click the button and sand falls on top of the whole town, so you're stuck in the house. But a door opens in the house, and you use it to get to a big house at the top of the ladder. This, by the way. Somebody better, somebody better make this map. I better see this map fully made after I read this. You have to go through the camp to find armor and better weapons. In the back, there is a secret passage that leads to a safe. A safe base. There are survivors in it. There is a button you press, and the floor falls out beneath you. You land in water, but you're surrounded by tons of zombies. If you kill them all, there's a button at the end of the hall. You press it, and a staircase opens. It leads you to the surface. You're in a stone hallway. You walk a little, but you see a town that is still alive. The town is surrounded in zombies, but they can't get in. You see a spaceship in the middle of the town. You search the houses and meet people. They tell you that when the spaceship is complete, they're going to use it to escape. They're missing two buttons, though. There's a button in one of the houses. It drops part of the wall to the town, letting zombies in, but it also gives you a button. You use the button on the ship. You drop into into space in a spaceship. There's a gear room. Or you, okay, you drop into the spaceship. Killing all the farm animals and singing the farm animal song. F-A-R-M-A-N-I-M-A-L-S this song. If you think that you can sing it faster, then you're wrong. Okay, well, I, I guess I sing it kind of slow, but... <laughs>